हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू होप यू पीपल आर डूइंग वेल सो वी कम अप विद न्यू पार्ट रिलेटेड टू डेटा स्ट्रक्चर हैविंग एरे एंड लिंक लिस्ट सो एरे एंड लिंक लिस्ट आर टू वेज ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द डेटा इन अ मेमोरी व्हाट इज एन एरे an array is a data structure that contains the elements of the same type important is here data will be same type that is a very key point same type a data structure is a way of organizing the data an array is a data structure because it sequentially organize the data array is a big chunk of mem <laughs> big chunk of memory in which memory is divided into small small blocks each block is capable of storing some values S example suppose we have created an array that consists 10 values then each block store uh, will store the value of integer type means if we created integer type of array the only integer values will be saved there if we try to store the value in array of different data type then it is not correct array and compiler will throw an error that is compile time error so if it is a integer type we can store only integer okay next is how we will declare an array so declaration is we have a data type first then name of the array and in brackets we have number of elements so we need to specify the number of elements in array example is we have write int a5 so it is like int a then this five so what is this this is a data type this is a data type what is a a is a name name of array and what is 5 5 is number of elements okay guys so like this we have to do do that so like integer we have put a name x 10 this means there is an array that having name x and it is store the integer type values in that and how much 10 values it can contain so like this we will declare an array hope you got it now now what is linked list link list is a collection of nodes that are randomly stored what we are doing earlier in array it is a continuous memory block but now it is a randomly stored values each node consists two fields one is data and other is link so there is a two part of this is one node okay so it have two part one part is data other part is link okay guys data value is stored in a particular node and the link is a pointer that holds the address to the next node means if it is like this we have nodes connected with each other so if it is having address 100 it has address 50 so if it is we are linking like that so it is have a data it's also have data 
for linking this it have 100 value means address of this node so like that and uh, this one have next address okay so like this the data link will work means the link list will work okay difference between array and link list we cannot say data structure is which data structure is better array or link list there can be possibility that one data structure is better for one kind of requirement while the other data structure is better for another kind of requirement means it is a based on based application based where what we need that, that define which data structure we will choose either array or link list there are various factor like what are the frequent operation performed on data structure or the size of the data and the other factor also on which basis the data structure is selected now we will see some differences between the array and the data link based on the some parameters okay so first parameter is cost of accessing an element in case of an array irrespective of the size of an array an array takes a constant time for accessing an element in array the element elements are stored in a contiguous manner so if we know the base of address of the element then we can access easily and get the address of an any element in an array we need to perform a simple calculation to obtain the address of any element in an array so accessing the element in an array is o1 in terms of time complexity so guys i will write some points for you that will help in case of array constant time for constant time for accessing an element okay so sir second it has contiguous memory okay time complexity okay in the link list the elements are not stored in a contiguous manner it consists multiple blocks and each block is represented as a node each node has a two fields one for data field and another for storing the address of the next node to find any node in the link list we first need to determine the first node known as the head node if we had if we have to find the second node in the list then we have to we need to traverse from the first node and in the worst case to find the last node we will be traversing all the nodes the average a case of accessing of the element is o n so in case of okay guys first i will tell uh, this is a one part these are the uh, all are nodes like that and they are linked to each other sorry guys there is some software problem okay so they are connected like this and this is a head node head node means first node okay so these all are nodes and it is a last node okay 
so like this they are uh, doing and already i had, i already told this uh, first block is data and second is link to next node next node okay like this we are doing and uh, if if i want to go for a second node i i need to know first what is the first node without first node we cannot do anything in the link list okay and for going to last node i have to traverse means i have to go from here to here here to here here to here and then i will access this node so here we have a time complexity in in case of link list if if we say in case of link list o9 o n sorry so we need have this time complexity complexity okay guys so but in case of array if we see say this is the base address okay but i need to uh, go to this one i need to means uh, there is a data here means there is x data if i want to go directly to x we can we go in array yes we can go array how this is the base address 200 so this will be 2001 this will be 2002 this will be 2003 then i will write a 203 and the value comes 3 x sorry a value is here x so x will come okay like this directly we can access and any element in array because we are knowing the first element base address so on that basis we can calculate the address of that element fourth element fifth element like that okay so we can directly access okay so like this we, we will write that 0 1 2 3 so we will write actually a3 because we already defined this one so it will how we will start not this one because address is not uh, writing here we are writing the uh, element value so it's like uh, in array it is a0 means this value is a0 i will write like that this i will write a1 okay this i will write a2 this i will write a3 directly this a4 directly this one a5 directly and this one a6 directly okay so guys may remember it's like that in array it starts from if if because already we said if we say it is a So how much element 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it is a a7 we declare int a7 okay means it have a same uh, seven values so it is start it, it will start from 0 to 6 so whichever element we want to access we will access directly okay got it guys hope you got something so what we conclude here we conclude the cost of accessing an element in array is less than the link list therefore we have an any requirement for accessing the element then array is better choice okay if we want to access the faster faster access time will be in array got it next is cost of inserting an element okay there are three scenarios in that first we will consider inserting the element uh, at the beginning okay so we have a case of array we have a case of link list okay so we'll see here to insert the new element at the beginning we first need to shift elements towards the right to create a space in a in first position so the time complexity will be proportional to the size of the list if n is the size of an array the time complexity would be n so guys here in case of array 
टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज एन ओके बाय इफ इज इज दिस वैल्यू थ्री आई वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट एट द प्लेस ऑफ टू मीन्स एट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ एन एरे आई नीड टू शिफ्ट ऑल दीज to make this empty space so i need to go to each block means we we have a time axis n so in case of array here the accessibility is n but in case of the linked list to insert an element at in starting of the linked list we will create a new node and the address of the first node is added to the new node in this way new node becomes the first node so the time complexity is not proportional to the size of the list the time complexity would be constant that is o1 or one time only linked list in case of linked list here time complexity complexity is single okay so this was earlier this was a head node means first node but i need to uh, add one node so what we i will do in this new node the data is 3 and i will put here if it is a having address of 100 okay and i will put 100 here so now it will become first node and it will become a second node simple so here linked list is simple so here we what we see we see that in case of adding a element at the beginning the linked list is a preferred choice okay guys next next thing is inserting an element at the mid suppose what we want to insert element at the ith position then the n by 2 elements towards the right then we need to shift the n by 2 elements towards the right therefore the time complexity is proportional to the number of the elements the time complexity would be n for the average case okay so in case of array average case time complexity is n okay so like that we have to do that okay same thing if i want to insert here i need to shift all these elements then i will place it okay these kind of things uh, that's why it is a similar kind of thing that happens before okay but in case of linked list we have to traverse to the that position where we have to insert a new element even though we do not have to perform the kind of shifting but we have to traverse to the n by 2 position the the time taken is proportional to n number of elements so and the time complexity of average case would be o n so that is the now the same scenario is same in linked list in linked list it is also same because if i i am adding i want to add in between any value or let's say here here at this place in between what i need to go i need to go to that first then i will add here okay so i am adding here so i need to shift and resultant will be this one so we i mean i need to travel and travel is one travel is one access time so if i am traveling n times then it will be n okay hope you got it next is ease of use the implementation of array is an array is easy as compared to linked list while the while creating a program using a linked list so the program is more prone to errors like segmentation fault or memory leak so lots lot of care need to be taken while creating a prop a program in the linked list okay so that is important dynamic in size the linked list is dynamic in size 
where is the array is static okay guys it is important array is static and linked list is dynamic so that static does not mean that we cannot decide the size of at runtime but we cannot change it once the size is there. Guy, guys what it is saying it is saying that if i declare int a5 okay so now it is fixed okay so that's why it is static but in case of link list there is no declaration like that okay if i if i want to add a one node i will add okay so that is easy portion so that's why it is a dynamic in a case okay and inserting an element at the end guy it will be the uh, similar case of in mid so here both have a time complexity of same either array or link list both have a time complexity of on time complexity okay if array if an array is not full then we can directly add a new element through the index in this case the time complexity would be constant that is o1 but if the array is full if array is a full then we first need to copy array into another array and add a new element in this case the time complexity would be n so array it is full or not full so if it is full then and if not full then one we can directly add okay to inserting an element at the end of the link list we have to traverse the whole list if the link list consists the n elements the time complexity would be n but in case of link list every time it is o to the power o n okay hope you got it something next is memory requirement this is one so so, so one two three four five six seven okay seven so integer have four byte okay as element in array as elements in array store in one contiguous block of a memory so array is a fixed size suppose we have an array of the size 7 and the array consists only four elements means it have already size of 7 but only four positions are filled only then the rest of the space this this space is unused space the memory occupied by seven elements in case of link list there is no unused memory but the extra memory is occupied by the pointer variable if the data is integer type then the total memory occupied by one node is eight byte four byte for data and four byte for the pointer variable so guys here if it is a partially filled so what we are doing there are seven blocks and data is four bytes so total 28 bytes we are using okay but here we will see what what is that case the data is integer type and pointer is integer type it is always point uh, integer type pointer so it have four byte and it is also four byte so one total node is taking eight byte so if it is a four so then eight into four node eight byte into four equal to 32 bytes so what we see 
for four elements it is taking more memory okay okay guys the linked list would be better choice if data part is larger in size suppose that data is 16 byte the memory occupied by okay guys if if it is partially filled here and if if suppose okay first i will remove this so we have a better understanding on that part so here we in this case what we see here data uh, link list is taking more memory but we will see another case where the data type data type size jo size is 16 byte okay so in this case it is partially filled but if it will take whole so 16 multiply by 7 is 112 bytes so array will take 112 bytes okay while the link list link list how much it will occupy so we will see link list is one is data data is 16 byte data is 16 byte but pointer is only 4 byte so total is one node is taking 20 byte so here 20 and 4 node is there then 80 byte okay so here we specify 20 bytes as a 16 byte of the size of the data plus 4 bytes for the pointer variable if we are choosing the larger size of data then the link list would be would consume a less memory otherwise it depends on the factor that we are adopting to determine the size so guys if size data type size is more then link list may be a preferred method that we are adopting for it hope you got it okay next we will see some differences array and link list array is a collection of elements of similar data type okay link list is a collection of object known as nodes where the node consists two parts data and address okay guys array element store in a contiguous memory location link list elements can store anywhere in the memory or randomly stored okay guys array works with the static memory here static memory means that memory size is fixed and cannot change at the runtime the link list, uh, link list works with the dynamic memory. Here, dynamic memory means the memory size can be changed at runtime according to our requirement. Array elements are independent of each other. That is important. Link list elements are dependent on each other in case of link list. As each node contains the address of the next node so the access to the next node we need to access its previous node okay guys next is array takes more time while performing any operation like insertion and deletion okay link list takes less time while performing any operation like insertion and deletion accessing any element in array is faster as element in array can be directly accessed through the index like we say a3 okay so by writing a3 we are we we are directly accessing the element at that position okay accessing and uh, accessing an element in linked list is slower as it is start traversing from the first element of the linked list 
first it will means I, I i want to access the fourth element in the linked list then i have to go at first node then second node then third node then i will reach to the fourth but in case of uh, array we directly access the fourth element if i need it okay in case of array memory is allocated at compiled time okay in case of linked list memory is allocated at run time so it is important at here it is compile time and it is at run time okay memory utilization in case of array memory utilization is inefficient in the array for example if the size of array is 6 and the array consisting three elements only the rest of the space will be unused memory utilization in case of linked list is efficient as memory can be allocated or deallocated at runtime according to our requirement okay guys so these are the differences what we see today for the linked list and array so all these uh, we covered basics and some basic operations how how it is working and hope you got it about the clear idea of array and, and linked list if you have any query please uh, write a comment and we will try to answer and in minimum possible time so hope you get it and it will be beneficial for you thank you very much